Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It is Tuesday, December 3rd, um, and I've had an adventurous late afternoon and evening. I am just getting into the house at 7.40 p.m. Eastern Time tonight, and I'm crawling back in from the dentist, urgent care, CVS Pharmacy, um... Alta and Trader Joe's and so what I'm fixing to present to you in this however long video is from a composite of these different places um, I'm gonna try to not be too wordy but um, if it's something that's new or newly presented on my channel I'll be a little bit more descriptive with that item or if I got it at some kind of fabulous deal so here we go we got CVS pharmacy so we're gonna go with that one first I ended up signing up and I would highly suggest you do if you have one near you and you frequent CVS Pharmacy but it's their welcome to care pass at a pleasant elderly cashier and she was a doll and um, your first month is free so you have nothing to lose and it's free effective the day you sign up and you just have to agree on the screen and um, and put your you know confirm your information and insert your card that you would like to have charged the following month your free trial expires um, or you can pay $48 annual every month you get a $10 credit and it's um, there's I have more information on it but you get a 20% off discount uh, for any of the CVS health items it has to say CVS pharmacy health on the item you'll get 20% off um, something with your deliveries and getting your RX delivered for free and things like that I go to CVS pharmacy sparingly but enough that something like this could be of some use to me so um, they, they were a gem there. Um, I had I had already checked out when she pitched it to me. I brought it to my attention. And so I refunded a couple of items because uh, the manager was saying the $10 credit that they give you every month that can be used for anything um, in the store started the day I signed up. And so I was able to get two items for free and got some of my money back. I holla at a real player. So, um, I got this Nivea Lip Balm. i seen it on Jessica B's channel. She was carrying on about how she's not generally into lip balms. And she's seen it on Emily's channel. And she tried it and it just holds. And it, it's been it's feeling pretty good on my lips. And you do get some color. And the color do keep. So I picked the color Black Cherry, but there were five others to choose from. Look who was on sale, y'all. I've been itching to get some new uh, foundations. Physician Formula. I got the color Dark Number 4. Um, $8 and some change, and then it ended up being free because I signed up for the past so I paid zero dollars and zero cents for this mm -hmm. and the Nivea lip balm was like three bucks never heard of this before in my life there were four different flavors I picked two different ones this one is blue Rass. this is a make no mistake bang is not your stereotypical high sugar life sucking soda masquerading as an energy drink High sugar drinks, spike blood sugar producing metabolic mayhem causing you to crash harder than a test dummy into a big brick wall. Power up with Bang's potent brain and body rocking fuel, fuel, creatine, caffeine, calcutin, and BCAAs. And if you don't know what that is, that's branch chain amino acids. This is not intended for persons under the age of 18. So they're serious about whatever they're trying to um, give you. I really like the ingredient panel. There is no sugar. There's no carbs. There's no, fi you know, no fiber. But there's none of the bad stuff that something like my dear old favorite Red Bulls 
tend to have. This thing has 38 grams of sugar. Now, I bought this for a co-worker, but just the same, um, it, it can be brutal. It will give you that pump, but like it says, you will crash. The percentage I'm looking at, like the niacin on this one is 25%, percent is saying 140 on here. I don't know. I will not be trying this until I feel better, but um, Blue Rass is this flavor, and then, of course, I had to try Rainbow Unicorns. I'm impressed with the simple fact that it has no sugar, and I showed you one Red Bull, and then here's the other one. I like the limited edition, so one was Peach Nectar, and the other is Plum Twist. Okay, so I showed you two makeup products four energy drinks. I also got this for free inside of that $10 and it's been making a mess because I wanted to smell it and forgot to close it. Yes. Yes. This is lavender chamomile. It's hypoallergenic dermatologist and pediatrician tested and gentle and velvety soft. Paraffin and phthalate free. Um, mild and a gentle formula. I will not lie to you I am a gold bond girl their camel meal one but I searched the store high and low and I didn't see one and the one I have here in the house probably got another week or two of use but I wanted something on hand okay I think that's it excuse me from CVS pharmacy so let's jump into Ulta I got the, let's see, e.l.f. concealer, the camo concealer that everyone's been hooting and hollering about these last six months. I needed a large lip pencil sharpener, and then, you know, it's dual, so I can do my eyes and lips. Because that NARS one that I got from Sephora, it's too too big for the one I have in the back room. And then Jessica's always going on and on about her favorite eyebrow pencil is LA Girl. So I got this one in the color medium brown. I just got a steel one and I really do like it. But I want to try that one too. And then I bought this. This is the Ulta Beauty Lip Service 4-Piece Lip Treatment Kit. You get an overnight lip mask, a juice-infused lip oil, a lip plumping lip balm, and then a sugar scrub. And I've been long overdue for a sugar scrub. And it was $14. And the cashier um, used a $5 coupon at the register. So that helped, bringing all of this to under $25. All right. Trader Joe's is food, it's house items, it's some beauty items. So let's, let's get going here, guys. Let's get into this. We have some chicken burritos. I'm going to be doing some holiday baking and stuff coming up. So I have some salted and unsalted butter. And it's four sticks in this one. Um, in each box, you get four sticks. So to, I don't have to go out based on whatever dessert or whatever I end up deciding to do. I was to be a part of a collab. And I would highly suggest you go check out Alex K. Alex, Life of a City Girl. K is the purple wall. And there was another young lady, oh goodness, that was a part of this collab. And there was a ingredient for cranberries was the key ingredient. And each person was to pick their own recipe that it would be doing built around it. Where well, I'm looking at mine um, from a, this magazine and so I've been getting stuff because I'm going to still follow through and I'll probably still record it even though that was to go up yesterday. I've just been sick, you guys. So I got the pie crust that's called for that recipe. And then I got this. This one 
And I like the fact that you are able to use your own baking dish and kind of fit it in there and you get a base and a, and a top. Mm-hmm. Trader Joe's for you. I picked this up. This looked it so delicious. Um, I'm going to wait until my son is back home so we can try it together. This is Parmesan Pastry Puffs. No nitrates, no nitrates added, beef water, um, you know, for the most part, the ingredients was pretty good. Mm, I would say 80% of what I got would be considered Barbie approved, and for some, it wasn't, there isn't. And I got this uh, pepper, mixed peppers. I'm trying to get some food back in the house, I'm thinking... There was a variety of things that kind of wore my body down. And so I had some time to reflect on some of that stuff. And I think one of the things is I really started dropping the ball on a full balanced nutrition. Um, I wasn't eating necessarily a whole bunch of junk or crap, but I wasn't eating enough to for the hours of work and the type of work that I was doing, I don't think I was giving myself enough proper balanced nutrition. Let's see here. Um, organic creamy cashew, and this is a coconut yogurt alternative. I picked the flavor vanilla bean, USDA organic. Now this, I saw something that kind of caught my eye and I was like, eh. yeah, the natural flavors, Bobby is not for natural flavors. It's basically just another word for genetically modified because it's taking something from its natural source and still tinkering with it. I got some organic blueberries frozen. Some heavy cream, which don't expire until January of next year at the end of it. Again, I don't quite know what baking recipe I'm going to be doing not the cranberry one but just for the holiday but I wanted to start pulling things I know that I typically use this is not grass finished but I just needed wanted some ground beef on hand this is grass fed Angus beef ground beef 85% lean 15% fat let me speed it up but you would you want to look for grass fed grass finished there's the dark sweet cherries for that um, recipe. We got this. This is Bobby Approved Unsweetened Organic Acai um, Puree Packets. Make great a great addition to your smoothies and juices. Make your own acai bowls and acai smoothies with USDA Organic. And I placed a couple of Black Friday, Cyber Monday, health food type of supplement orders. And so that is why I purchased the frozen blueberries and the acai. Applegate, Bobby Approved, some smoked turkey. Mac and cheese, one for me and one for my youngest son. And these are Bobby Approved. I highly suggest subscribing to his channel because he is so informative. And I think those were a decent price. I got this for my son. This is um, Trader Joe's Hash Chili Mac and Cheese with Roasted Chilies from Hash, New Mexico. So it's just giving some different cheeses, using some different cheeses so you're going to get a different taste and texture. And then I see something almost like a meat or some sort in there so um, I thought he would like that some mahi mahi was eight dollars and eleven cents some frozen brussels sprouts two bags of frozen corn Or organic um, boneless skinless chicken breast with rib meat some organic chicken wing section 
hatched, raised, harvested in the USA, individually frozen, no antibiotics ever. Yeah, that's what they tell us. <laughs> My dad would say, very cynical guy when he wants to be. Let's see here. We have some panko breadcrumbs. And I also wanted to try the gluten-free rice crumbs. Now, this is like a dollar and change. This is for something. America. Anything that's got that gluten-free on it, they automatically feel like they just should jack the price up. But I wanted to give it a go. And I'm trying. I'm losing some weight. I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to do better. So I'm putting my money where I would like my health to be, you know. Stuff for the children. So we have some fig bars. Some organic frosted uh, cherry pomegranate pot tarts. You know what I mean, folks? You know what I mean? As Kim would say. Um, I couldn't remember for the life of me if I had any flex seeds here. And this is a flex seed meal. So it's grounded a bit finer. And it can go in smoothies, pancake, cornbread, oatmeal, waffles, and etc. Or any other kind of baked good. Gluten free, USDA organic. And you would refrigerate this bad boy when you once you've opened it. And it even comes with a little recipe that I might, I might try. I think being home, not well, um, and I've been thoroughly cleaning the house, all in the windowsills and all, not feeling good. And it's, it's giving me some time to organize paperwork. Things just started getting in a disarray. Work-life balance. The life part was unbalanced, if you get my catch my drift. And um, just being here, it's really of, allowed me to assess what's needed. Um, and that um, I can't get overly caught up in work. Once I clock out, I have to take care of myself and I have to tend to my home and my family you know what i'm saying and um so there's a reduction in hours and things like that that i had to put forth because i can't have my body shut down like this um no and with that being said i like baking and cooking and that is something that has not been happening um since I've took this position not really beyond a little breakfast we have some organic milk from uh, grass fed cows mm -hmm. USA organic and all that good stuff you guys and it was a good price being back in Trader Joe's I just felt like slapping myself off and on because though some prices for things is a bit higher than Walmart or Target, a few. It's far cheaper than Whole Foods. And so Whole Foods is like right up the breezeway from where I work. And I can spend, I would say in a week, a clean hundred, easy. And I was just like, wow. <laughs> and reminded like, you know, there's a lot of good stuff in here. And there's been a lot of stuff added since my last major shopping trip there. So, as you're going to see, a free for all. <laughs> I, I went ham. Um, this is an organic cold-pressed juice. This is coconut and carrot. Listen, you guys. This thing here is good to the end of the month. Well past Christmas, so no rush to open. But this is organic everything. Organic coconut water, carrot juice, golden beet juice, lemon juice, turmeric, ginger juice, and pineapple juice. Everything's organic. Um, and then it even tells you on the side, you know, how much of what was used. And if you want to recreate the recipe, there it goes. So I, I got this, again, not feeling well. And 
as the health improve, I want some stuff around to keep 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 it keep it up. You know what I mean? Keep things in, going in the right place. This is Trader Joe's, and this is some cultured salted butter produced in Brittany, France. Oh boy, the way I am about pins and stationery and a lot of other little frick or frack in my life, I am something when it comes to cheeses. I'm not satisfied with the ones that I bought. I really like what I find from Costco's because there are a lot of imported cheeses. So, um, at a price point that I like. So, um, when I saw this came from France, I feel the same way about butter. I like your pen style butter, Welsh butter, um, the Irish butter, stuff like that. Far more than what we do domestically for our people. It's just not the same, folks. It don't cook the same. It don't taste the same. And nutritionally, it is not the same. So I wanted to give that a try. This is wouldn't be Bobby approved. Yeah, you see that Biggest Day naturally flavored eggnog yogurt, but I wanted to give it a try. These are Bobby approved, and these are far more affordable. These were only a dollar ninety nine, I think. I have to refer to my receipt. And the ones I get from Whole Foods are three ninety nine. And this is organic mining turmeric juice shot, a blend of coconut water, turmeric, lemon juices, and added pepper. Perishable, keep refrigerated. Another something that wouldn't spoil if I don't open it before um, the tail end of next uh, January of next year. And, uh, you know, you shake well before use, and everything in it is organic. And then the other blend that they had was a ginger and this one is a uh, no joke ginger juice shot and this coconut water ginger and lemon juices with cayenne pepper and everything is organic um i was watching his airplane video and he always talks about don't get that airborne and powder crap because it's just sugar and junk get things like this that sourced ethically, that sourced right, organic, USDA organic. It's got all the little symbols and things down here that you can be, get familiar with, know what the, the beat is. And you drink these things on the plane or train or whatever. And so I got a couple of those to have on hand. I don't know if I showed you this, but I got this from CVS Pharmacy. I do believe in this brand. Um, this is the first time I've gotten this particular. They they make these based on like focused recovery stuff like that, and so this one's Thrive, and this is the first time I've gotten Thrive. But turmeric, full B complex, ginger, biotin, magnesium, rosemary, vitamin C, organic or oregano, excuse me, and cayenne pepper. Never any artificial flavors or sweeteners, and it's only forty five. Uh, calories and then this is paleo whole 30 blanca 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 and uh the sugar on this is nine so it has a little bit more than bang but overall i think probably what is put in this is going to be of a higher quality a better quality than bang Oh my God, guys, I don't know. <laughs> I have a scratch the surface. Um, I picked up a grass-fed steak. My daughter is always harping because I don't eat a lot of meat meat, um, especially lately. Lemons should be grass-fed, grass-finished, but I got what was accessible to me. I am, I just got a promo code for something I saw on Thomas channel and so you'll be seeing that this month and then I'll probably have a code I can share with you guys so if you're interested in trying you can and that's going to solve this other health food item, item issue some taco shells oh god I still got this um, this is some tea I'm going to take one of them out to be a gift, but it's mint, berry, and ginger, lemon, and spearmint, 
And this is a Trader Joe's Herbal Loose Tea Blends with an infuser. Let me see. Let me pause and open it up. Okay, so this is what they look like. And I like that the jar has the blend on it. So you can see it like so. And then the other one is a different flavor. This one is Lemon and Spearmint. And I can smell it, you guys. And then here's the little diffuser. A lot of festive holiday stuff. These are Barbie approved. Some vegetable broth, hearty, all organic. My phone has been um, being a real prick today. So there are times I just, there was no time to try to Google and this and that. So I just had to sit there and read and figure it out. So I got two of those vegetable broths. Jalapeno hot sauce, some coconut amino acids, organic. Oh my goodness, you guys. Got a chili pepper sauce. They make garlic salt now. So see, the last time I was there, um, that wasn't there with the little grinder. Some pink Himalayan salt. All those, uh, most of these were $1.99 except for a few. Some fresh thyme. Some beef bone broth, organic. It's time, guys. Some ground cinnamon. Ground ginger. 21 salute, uh, seasoning salute. I really like this, especially um, like a steak, baking, um, roasting stuff. It's really nice. I needed a new uh, vanilla extract. This is their pure bourbon vanilla extract. They had a regular pure, but I like that one. Um, ground nutmeg. The bay leaves were three and some change. Like for stews, black peppercorn, the rainbow one, and garlic. Right. Mm -mm -mm, Y'all, I don't know. Um, pecan praline granola. Onions. Organic yellow onions, stevia, some saffron, because um, um, Bobby just recently did like a shrimp uh, curry type of soup thingy, and I want to try that. Um, have some peppermint hand soap. always get these. I really like them and I think my macaroni and cheese might be done out of that shape this year. I got three of these. They're electrolyte alkaline water. Oh boy. Oh boy, you guys. Some bananas. Um, spicy brown mustard, a squash, a buttermilk squash. I'm just gonna cut it up and roast it, or I might end up doing a soup. I'm not sure yet. Some little avocados, and I like that these by Hass and Trader Joe's paired up. And these are some little petite ones because I really do like um avocados and they're good for you and uh, mono is saturated fat but you gotta watch it even though it's a good fat and I can I can clean an avocado in one meal some golden potatoes another one of those waters I got this 
So we're going to open this together. He's probably saying, what is this? It says, um, excuse us, no peeking. Bring it up here where you can see it. One, two, three. Mystery. Oh my gosh. This video is mine. So basically, these are supposed to be some little shopping bags from other stores in other states. And I was hoping, it wasn't, again, not feeling that great. So at first when I picked it up, I was like, ooh, it might be some from Sweden or whatever. But it's okay. I have Connecticut, Trader Joe's, Anonymy of Hamburger. On this side is some other writings. And then on this side is a typewriter, a vintage typewriter, and someone's grocery list. The next one we have here is on this side it says Fearless Flyer, as always, free and worth every penny. And then this is the reverse side. Okay. And then the last one we have here is one from Colorado. All right. And then this is the other side. Neat. I don't know. I like little novelty stuff like that. Some uh, organic brown sugar.